Hi guys, um, I'd like to talk about the exponential distribution um, and how to calculate probabilities um, using the exponential distribution. So before we get started, I'll give you guys a little bit of a background of what the exponential distribution is. Okay, it's actually the um, it's actually closely related to the Poisson distribution. So the Poisson is usually quite mandatory um, in most stats courses. Exponential, it's sometimes optional. Okay, the Poisson distribution, okay, allows us to answer questions like this. The number of events um, that occur in an interval of time. Interval of time. So this is um, what Poisson uh, distributions um, help us answer. Okay, With exponential, it's like the flip side of this it's like the flip side of these type of questions, okay? So with exponential distribution, what we'll be answering is the time taken between two events occurring. All right, so you can see that they're very closely related. So today we're going to go through, we're going to talk about um, the exponential distribution. So whenever you see a question that talks about two events occurring, two things occurring, so let's say A and B, and they want you to calculate the time between A and B occurring, then you're dealing with an exponential question. Now, there are a few things we need to cover, or we could cover quite briefly anyway. Um, so the exponential distribution looks like this. You don't really need to draw the graph, but it looks like that, okay? And so um, on the x-axis you have time, okay, and so on. Now, <clears throat> the parameter of interest is called lambda, right? And lambda is the average number of events in one unit of time. Okay, so it's the average number of events that occur in one unit of time. So what do we mean by one unit of time? Well, if they're talking about minutes, then it's the average number of events in one minute. If they're talking about hours, then it's the average number of events in one hour. Okay, now um, we'll go through a work solution, a work question, so um, this will be clearer. Now the other thing we need to know is the actual uh, equations for calculating the probability. So the probability that x, so you know, the time between two events, is larger than a particular time is equal to the exponential um, to the power of negative lambda x. Okay? Um, and the probability that um, the number, that the time between two events is less than a particular number of times, so small x, that's equal to 1 minus um, exponential to the power of negative lambda x. Unfortunately, I don't have a calculator here with me, so I can't show you guys exactly how to punch that into your calculator. But the button you need is your exp button. Okay. So if I wanted to calculate um, exponential of five, okay, if I wanted to calculate this, I would click on this button exp, and then I'd click on five, and then equals, and that would give me exponential of five. Okay, I'm a bit lazy at the moment, so I don't want to type this up, so let's just borrow this question straight from the textbook, okay? A checkout counter at a supermarket completes the process according to an exponential distribution with a service rate of 6 per hour. A customer arrives at the checkout counter, find the probability of the following events. The service is completed in fewer than 5 minutes, the customer leaves the checkout counter more than 10 minutes after arriving, and the service is completed in time between five and eight minutes. So we have um, a checkout rate here. Oh, we, we have we have some type of lambda here, right, that tells us um, per unit of time how many events or how many customers do we serve um, per hour. And let's have a look. Now, the first thing you should notice is that the question's asking us about minutes. Okay, so that's our unit of time for answering the question. But they've given us lambda in terms of per hour. So it's six customers per hour. So we need to convert hour into minutes. Okay, I'm gonna move this here for now. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? Um, all right, so question A, right? So we're told that we see six customers, a checkout person sees on average, six customers 
per hour. Okay, and our lambda has to be in terms of per minute. Okay, so lambda equals two. Well, if we see six per hour, then if we want to know the per minute rate, it's six divided by 60, right? Because it's 60 minutes, one hour. So lambda is equal to 0 0.1. So that means we see 0 0.1 customers per minute. Okay. All right, and then we just simply have to punch in our equations. All right. So the um, the probability, okay, that it takes less than five minutes um, to see one customer from start to finish, okay, is equal to right. So if we just look at these equations from from before. Okay, so we look at this equation here, probably that x is less than 5, we just sub in x equals to 5, we already know lambda, and that's it, okay? So all we have to do is we know that's 1 minus e, okay, so it's the power of negative lambda, so we know what lambda is, so it's negative 0 0.1, okay, we know what x is, x is 5, so it's less than 5 minutes, okay, so 5 minutes, you know, in between the two events. Okay, we punch that into our calculator, so unfortunately I don't have my calculator here with me, so I can't show you guys how to punch that in, but it's pretty straightforward. So you just need practice with that, and this is it. So it's a 0 0.3935 chance that we see um, that, that we can complete um, a customer's checkout within five minutes. Okay. Question B. All right, and so the next question was, um, what's the probability that we see uh, that it takes more than 10 minutes to see um, a particular customer? So what's the probability that it takes more than 10 minutes after arriving to finish your checkout? Okay, so the time between arriving and, you know, completing a checkout takes more than 10 minutes. Well, the probability that X is more than 10, all right, that's equal to E um, negative uh, lambda x, right? Okay, and we simply have to sub our values in, which is um, e negative, okay, so lambda was 0 0.1, and x now is 10, because we want to know, sorry, 10 minutes, and that gives us 0 0.3679. Okay, part c. So part C was, um, what's the probability that it takes between uh, five and eight minutes to see a, um, to, to complete a, a customer, complete a customer's, you know, um, purchase at the checkout. So what's the probability that it's, that X is between five minutes and eight minutes. Okay. So this is what's happening here. Okay. Now, um, if you recall, how we calculate these probabilities would just be the probability that x is less than 8 minus the probability that x is less than 5. Okay, and we can break it down to those two components and that would give us our answer. Now I'll just intuitively show you guys how we do that. Okay, so let's say this is between uh, 0 and 8 minutes. Okay, the first term here gives me this whole distance here, right? Between, so less than 8. So we know it would so this gives us a probability that it takes eight minutes or less to see this customer, okay? The second term here, let's say five is up here, okay, gives me the area, the, the difference, or, you know, the time taken, which is five minutes or less, which is this distance here. So if I have this distance minus this distance, that will leave me with this distance here between five and eight, okay? And that's what's happening there. So that's how we can break it down into these two components. Okay. So what's the first term? Okay. So probability that um, x is less than 8 is simply 1 minus e minus 0 0.1, 8. Okay. Minus the second term, minus. Okay. There are two minuses here, so I'm going to use a bracket so I don't get confused. And then we can simplify this, right? Our ones cancel out. That's one minus one. Two negatives gives me a positive there. So that would be e negative 0 0.1, five minus e. Okay. And the answer would be 0 0.1572. Okay. And so 
um, there's a 0 0.1572 chance that um, a checkout will see a customer between 5 and 8 minutes. I hope this was helpful.